All right, use case number 10. Every time an account website is updated, update the website field on all the child contacts for the account. Right. So the very first question is what is the object in concern where we write, need to write the trigger? The object would be the account object, right? Because on the update of an account object, we want to do things. What is the event? Like I said, it is the update event. But now the question again, the decision, whether it should be a before event or an after event, what are you trying to do here? You're trying to update related records, right? The child records of the account contacts. So updating related records should be done on the after context. Right. So we'll be writing an after update trigger on the account object. So let's go to developer console and let's open the account trigger. I think we already have one. Yes. And we want to write an after update event here. So I'll say after update, I'll just copy paste this code and I'll say is after. Right. And then just run handle after update activities. So I don't think I have this particular method. So I'll just go into the account trigger handler first of all and create it before saving this guy. So I'll just create a method. And I'll say handle after update. Okay, once this is saved, I'll save it here also. So here, do I need the old map? I don't think so because we don't have to compare anything as such. Let's see, do we have to compare? Okay, it's saying that the account website, whenever the website is getting updated only, then you need to do it, right? So we might have to uh, compare. So I'll use the trigger dot old map, save. Okay, so both files are ready. Now let's go in and start writing the code here. So what do I want to do? I want to say for account ACC in new records, right? I want to see if ACC dot website is not equal to old map dot get acc dot id dot website right i think we've already been through this comparing the value of a field from the old map and the new value that has just come in if it has changed only then we want to do things with the account right so we want to say add account to update children dot add i'll just add this particular account record altogether Okay, or I can just add the account ID. No, I'll need the entire account. Okay, and now I'll just define this list here. This would be list of type account. I'll name it add account to update children equals new list of type account. Save. All right, so what have I done here? I have figured out all the account records wherein the website is being changed in the after context. Right. If the website has changed only then this list will have a value. Right. And if this list has a value, if this list is not empty or if the size of this list is greater than zero, then I can say that, yeah, there is one record, at least one record in the list wherein the website has been updated in the record in the current transaction. Right. So what I'll say is. Find me all the contacts. Which are associated to the accounts here. So I'll say ID comma name. It should be first name from contact where account ID in. Now I need to put a check with a list of IDs, right? So in order to put a check with check with the list of IDs, I can have this particular account record account record list and I can also have a account ID list also. I'll say add and I'll keep one more list and that will hold the IDs of the accounts. Okay. And I'll create one more list here. Because see, I am, I'm needing it right now here, right? So I need this ID list so that I can use it in my query. So I'll just say list of ID. I'll say save and I'll say fetch me all the contact records where account ID is in this particular list of IDs. I'll say save. Okay, error free code. Now what do we need to do? We need to update the website field for all these contact records, right? So what I'll have to do is I'll have to run a for loop here. I'll run a for loop on on the contact records. So I'll say for each contact record in con records list, right? What I want to do, I want to first figure out the account record, right? Which account record do I have to pick from here? How do I do that? Take a look and try to think of it. So I need to do something like this con dot website is equal to the parent accounts website.
right this is a this is what i want to do but first of all i don't have a website field so i'll just go ahead and create a website field on the contact object so i'll go to object i'll go to contact okay now i have the field let's say con dot website underscore underscore c is equal to test i'll just put this value here and say save just for now okay but what do i need to do really i want to put the value that is on the website field of the parent account record right so how do i get the parent account record here i have a relationship that is called con dot account id right so i i can fetch the parent account of this contact using this relationship but i want to fetch the parent accounts website field right so in order to do that what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up a map we'll be creating a map okay so here instead of populating a list i can use a map that would be that would make my life easier right so what do i do here i'll say account to website map dot put account dot id comma account dot website so what am i simply doing here let's get rid of this particular list and let's declare this particular map so i'll say map of id comma string because website is of type string right so i'll say map of id comma and i'll update the variable name let's click on the save button what did i do i am just checking if the website has changed right if the website value has changed i'm just adding this particular account record in a map i'm just storing the id value and the corresponding website value okay now see how does this come in come uh, as a savior for us now here what i want to do is i want to fetch the parent account website field value right so what i can do is i can use this map and i can use the get function like you already know and what i can do is inside this get function what is the key here the key is the account id do i can i fetch the account id on the contact level yes i can so i'll say con dot account id right now what will this particular thing fetch me this will fetch me the website field value from the map for this spe uh, specific account account id or the account record and i can directly map it on the website field on the contact record make sense so i'll just save it now this list is, does not exist anymore so i'll say if instead of checking whether this list has values or not i'll simply check if my map has keys or not okay so the key set if exists okay key set is not uh, compatible to uh, integer so i'll have to check key set dot size because it's a list or a set right so if the size of the keys present on the map is greater than zero only then come inside and do things right that's just a check no, nothing fancy just a uh, check on the map uh, records okay now see what did what did we do here we went to the account records that have currently come into the transaction we checked if the website field has changed and we compared it with the old value if there is a change that means the website has been updated as part of the current update that's happening and if that has happened we simply created a map and we put the account id versus the account website field value okay and we also created a list and in this list we stored all the account ids and we will see why did we do that now after we had the map and the list of ids of account we create a, created a sockle query on the contact records and we fetched all the contact records where the account id is from this particular list right now do you want to get rid of this list also we can do that as well so i'll just get rid of this particular list also what can i do instead of using that list of ids i can again use my map right i can simply say in dot key set why because the keys of this particular map hold the account id so even this will work okay and when you are associating a variable on your circle query you have to use the colon icon okay so the binding works there so this will hold all the account ids that have come as part of this update and this will give me the uh, contact records and it will give me the list of contact records and then i iterated over my contact records and i populated the website field value using my map and i fetched the account id by using con dot account id because i am on the contact context okay one more issue that will come is the website field has not been queried okay so i have to query it if i am using it down below so i'll have to query it here and only then i can use it okay i'll just say add con to update dot add i'll add this con record and i'll define this particular list here i'll say list of add con to update equals new list of contact 
I need to do a DML operation, right? I need to update the contact records. So in order to do that, and I cannot do that on a loop, inside a loop, I am doing it by populating my list and then saying update this particular list altogether. And this should save a file now, let's see. So there's some error here, add con to update. What's the issue? It says variable does not exist. I think we put it on the right, on, on the wrong, uh, bracket so let's get rid of this and say save and there's a bracket missing here so i'll say save okay what's the issue duplicate variable add con to update okay there's a spelling error here this is not update this should be update save all right so everything looks good but we need to test it if it works uh, or not right so let's go to an account record let's open Burlington textiles and see if there's a related contact see there are two contacts okay now what I want to do is I want to modify the website field value here where is the website field let's take a look do we even have a website I believe so this one right here right so I'll say burlington.com dot contact test I'll just put it like this and say save now as soon as I save my account contact oh there's something wrong it says that s object row was retrieved via SO SOQL without querying the requested field contact dot account ID see I did work on the website field but here I'm also using account ID so I have to query it see so that error came for some other field I, I took care of this field but this field also has to be queried because I'm using it here right using the dot operator now let's go back and try to save it so the update is working I believe well wow, this is taking a long time so it's saying we could not save your work please refresh the page and try again so let's refresh not sure what happened there let's refresh and let's try one more time so I'll say okay this got saved so let's quickly check if the contact also got updated or not if I go to the details page yeah the website got updated so I'm not sure why did it give me that error let's let's go do it for one more record the error should not come so this is community test account if I go to the details the website is empty is there a contact associated yeah user one is there right so let's say website is newwebsite.com okay let's say save so this saved up fine I'll go to the related list open the user record I'm in the contact record and under the details tab I see that the website has been updated so you see as soon as you update the parent account the related contact fields are get the related contact records are getting updated with the new website value okay let's try one more last use case let's go to Salesforce makes sense and let's see if the website is added here it's not I have recently made my website live so I'll just put it here I'll say salesforce makes sense.com and I'll say save so everyone can take advantage of this website and they can go through free courses and free material available all throughout the website okay just an additional information as part of the use case so if I take a look at the related list oops we do not have any contacts so <laughs> the cascading won't work because there's no contact record available okay cool all right that was all about use case 10 we'll move on to use case 11